Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. It has been some time since I last played this game and I apologise for the trickle of episodes that we've had recently. I am remove, reducing, I should say, the amount of episodes I'm going to be uploading in every week and we will be filling in the gaps with some new series. But in the meantime, uh, I'm just sort of reducing the, I don't want to say pressure, it's not a huge amount of pressure, but pressure is the closest word. Um, I just want to not have to keep putting out five episodes a week it's kind of getting on top of me and it's now been such a long time since I played this game that I can't remember how to uh, it seems like we have a, a reasonable amount of money to do a, a medium run maybe even a long run but I do recall that we have many many bosses to do uh, and every single time we try we seem to get either some way towards the boss and fail miserably at the boss or we just get completely owned trying to do the boss so what I'm thinking we do is we have uh, a reasonably high-ish level crew already going from the previous episode. Um, but they're all a little bit the worse for wear. Look, um, we've, we've put some people... Well, actually, these these two are quite low level. These two have recently leveled up to level 3, which means we're going to have to put them in for some training and upgrading if we want to use them. Uh, let's have a look in the... No, that's, that's not the guild. Thank you. Please. Uh, both... Vague and Viz here could do with some upgrades here and of course also in the blacksmith too But we can't necessarily afford to do that. In fact, Vague is way behind and we just we don't have the money to put that much Upgrade on one unit uh, All at once the trouble is if we upgrade them too far They're not going to be able to help with the bosses now It's not infeasible that we just do the same thing. We did last time try and do a level um, like a medium level run a long one here uh, but it's level 3. Or just try and do the profit. But I don't, think, I don't think trying to do the profit with this crew is that good an idea. Plus, don't forget that Viz, being uh, an abomination as he is, will not... Well, Holmesy won't go out with <laughs> Viz. That's a weird thing to say because these are real people. Um, Holmesy will not go on a mission with Viz because of uh, sort of a religious disagreement there. And Holmesy and Zeke, being the same character, same boat, are the only two that will really assist us in healing. We really need a healer for these. The only other person is Pete. But the problem, of course, is that Pete is completely doolally. Any time that he gets in a dungeon, he's immediately going to flip out and be probably quite useless. There's a small chance, of course, that he could become uh, virtuous. But it's not a risk I'm willing to take. Which means that... Zeke and Holmesy are really the only healers that we have of any class, or, or of any, you know, they're the only viable options. So what I think we try and do is we do this run again, get some more money so that we can upgrade these two, or upgrade some of these, and then next episode we're going to go for a boss and actually try to beat it. Whew. So, which one should we do? Well, it's not that one, obviously. It basically gives us the Wield or the Warrens. Now, I've previously spoken about the fact that doing a long run with uh, uh, an uh, antiquarian, that's the word, here is probably not the greatest of ideas because we do want to carry back as much as possible. So I think our best I uh, our best bet is to try and do this medium mission here. Has everyone still got their trinkets? They do. So I don't even need to think about that because this is the first episode I've recorded or even played in such a long time. I've basically forgotten how. Um, but we've, we obviously did this recently, so I think we can get away with it again. What I will do is give um, Vague here a little bit more, just just one level of these two, basically. Because, of course, we can put it up the next level, but that'll drain all our money. We won't be able to provision for the run, and we won't be able to upgrade anybody else in the future. This run will almost pay for itself completely. So, let's just go straight ahead. Where are we going? The Wield. This could be um, a bit of a painful journey and what I'm thinking is that we're not really cut out to solve the problems that the wield throws at us if we take some medicinal herbs we should take a couple of shovels I'll only take two uh, it's a long run it's a medium run I might take three anti-venom bandages maybe I mean if we're lucky we can complete the task required of us in time uh, and sort of whittle these down and free up the spaces that we need as we go along. Don't forget we can camp. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go. I'm going to double check that we've got 
some stuff for everybody. And I, I recognise that there are many of these, uh, these horrible bad quirks down here that could cause people to do things that we really don't want them to be doing. Uh, interacting with things that make our lives more difficult, but whatever, just throw ourselves back into the game. I've been talking for long enough. Let's see what the wield holds for us. I mean, there's a lot of poison, there's a lot of uh, disease in the wield. Maybe we should have brought the grave robber to try and use the uh, the camping skill Corruption to clean some of that. The soil. So 100% of rune battles. From these groves. Ah, interesting. We've got a new... This evil. So we must have upgraded. So this presumably sets our party to the order that they were in when we embarked. So if I click that, it doesn't do anything yet. So hopefully we get a good scout when we enter this next room. Uh, immediately dodge a trap. Very good. Uh, who have we got here? We have brought Immodism and of course the Gyrus. Fizz and Vague are all with us. Today I didn't really go through who we were bringing. Don't forget to use Sir Gyrus to do all these. It's empty. Well, whoever previously emptied that hopefully found the antiques therein. A rune battle. Well, that's a good start. We do need to do that. Fizz first. Interesting. Now these all have um, quite high blight resist. It's not 100% and of course the beast pile is more than 100% um, base likelihood, but at the same time, probably we're just going to try and knock out some stuns. If we find that we want to start transforming, don't forget it does one one turn of stress to all the people in the party, and one more turn of stress every time Viz remains transformed, only to himself. So this is where we start getting some uh, damage done. We'll Hounds Harry to try and get everything sort of into range. The problem here is, of course, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of protection in in this fight, but also in the wheel specifically, plus lots of reasons why what we really want to be doing is dodging. There's going to be a lot of blight attacks, there's going to be a lot of gross attacks, that sort of thing. Things that we can't really necessarily tank. It cursed me, actually, with all this stuff. Not having a healer might turn out to be a terrible idea. Especially with... Like, these can do some pretty serious amounts of damage. Even though we have a, um... A camp. This may not be the best idea. We may have to run away from this, but we will bring back what we've collected on the way. So. We want to reduce some protection and mark something. We might as well try and ensure that they get... Like, whittle down as much as we possibly can. Uh, you can actually heal yourself to some extent. Can attempt it to. And your stun resist is 45%, which is quite high. And your other skills, we could just do a lot of DPS, but I'm worried about us stressing out too much early. So I think we'll just keep trying to stun at least one of them. We'll focus down this unit, then that unit, then. As we go along. Now this will probably do some significant damage to this unit. Uh, not as significant as I would have liked. Because these are human eldritch, not beast eldritch. Which is a shame, because they do look like beasts. Creeping cough. This may be a, a harsh reintroduction to the game for me. Um, yeah, I think we just try and increase this dodge as much as possible. It might have been a bad idea bringing the level 2s, to be honest. Uh... Medium wield mission and all that. We'll see. I'm, I'm okay to run away. You know, we're just here for some cash. Please don't hurt me, etc. Good, that's what we like to see. So if this is going first, we can actually get him to heal himself. For 12, which is excellent. Um, I assume that the crit on yourself there actually healed more stress damage than it would have otherwise. But what? <laughs> this is bad. Uh, it's a good thing I brought some of this. That caught up with me. I didn't notice quite how much damage per round we were getting there. Um, not a fan of it. Not a fan of this either, let's be honest. This could have been a terrible idea. I thought it seemed like a good idea, but then it turned out that it wasn't. Uh, Self-heal, 6 HP. Marked beast. We're not going to do any bonus damage to anything. Let's just keep doing this. Like that normally does at least some damage as well, and the fact that it didn't do anything to at least one of those units is... 
very distressing. A good crit, but not enough. I think I'm just going to leave, actually. Like, this can't heal himself fast enough. These things are going to die. This was a bad idea. We'll run away. We'll try to run away before somebody dies. The death store buff is not going to matter if it actually uh, comes to that. Of course, it will matter if someone actually dies, because they're taking all their goes, but you can run away. Right, let's go home and rethink. <laughs> let's, let's rethink. Bad idea. I understand. I will own that. Um, we spent money that we shouldn't have spent. We stressed people out that we shouldn't have stressed. I was actually really tempted to put Pete in for stress relief before we did that in order that, you know, then we've got a healer who can come out with everybody. But I feel like because we abandoned, I assume that all these things have just not propped. Yeah. So we're in a bit of a problem situation. We could we could do something with other people. Look, Erasmus here, Holmesy are fine, Dutch and DT in fact are all pretty well off here. Um that being said <clears throat> Dutch has to be at the back, Holmesy's in the second position. Erasmus will be moving around. But if we do that then Holmesy has some time where she just can't do the ideal heal. Uh, the single heal, Divine Grace to one person. Which is okay. Um, she can still do the Divine Comfort from any other position. But I, I wouldn't also want to take, say, some, say Penelope, for example. Because having two people that move around a lot is even harder to deal with than having one person that moves around a lot. I'd like to get those specific four people. I mean, I'd like to get Zeke leveled up, to be fair, because Zeke is basically closer to level 4 than Holmesy, but Zeke is a little bit stressed out, and I'm not too happy with that. So what I think we might do... We'll see what the options are. Let's get rid of you lot, because you all suck. I hate you. Good. Um, I don't really want to go to the wield, because it's difficult. <laughs> this looks like the same set of options, to be fair. So, Also, we're running out of low-level people who will... In fact, we have none who will actually go on level 1 missions, so we... We have to do level 3 now until somebody dies and we start cycling, which I expect to happen, but I'm trying to postpone it as much as possible and I have no problem with uh, running away. So let's maybe try to level... We could even just try and do the cove. The trouble is we don't have Marie available and I would like to take Marie into the cove because we can always get past the protection with Marie's skills. And we can cure the bleeds that we get from that horrible, horrible thing that I will never, ever forget uh, in the cove. So we need to do a fairly cheap run. Because we wasted a lot of money just now. Which basically leaves us with this one or this one. We could do the Fulminating Prophet. We need people that can hit the back. <clears throat> it's not you. It's basically only Dutch in that situation. Um, if we took DT as well, for example. Yeah, we really don't have back hitters. We can't move it. That will bleed it. But we haven't got the money. Uh, can we sell something? This is a bit of a difficult situation to put myself in. I went a bit gung-ho at the beginning there. I have no excuse. I, I can't justify my actions except to say that it seemed like a good idea at the time. Alright, let's 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 bring Holmesy. We'll put Erasmus there. Because Erasmus is going to start. We'll put Dutch at the back and DT at the front. We could take Mr. Steve. We could take Mr. Steve. What's your major malfunction? Wasting sickness. Do you know what? We will take Mr. Steve. And why? Even though this is a bit ungood, we're going to be taking Erasmus, and Erasmus has got the snuff box, and the snuff box will remove target disease, and we will be getting one camp. I'm not going to go to the ruins, mind you. Um, we could try a long run, but I really doubt we could afford to provision, so I guess we just try that wield again. This time with a healer, basically, um, and some decent damage dealers. Maybe we should have rethought our trinkets as well before we went in there. Well... You live and learn, although if you're me, you tend to live and not learn, or just not live. Virtue chance. Protection probably decent. Right, we want to give Erasmus the quick draw charm, so that Erasmus can start off with a really good crit, which happens 
more often than I would expect, to be fair. Uh, let's do some damage versus human. We know what's in there. Holmesy, you're going to get the usual awesome Vestal thingies. 33% and 25%. Yeah, that seems good. This does reduce a stun skill chance, actually, which I hadn't really... I'd, I'd obviously read it, but I didn't internalize it. So that's probably why the stuns that we sort of... Whenever Holmesy doesn't have anything to do, we go, I'll try and stun. That's probably why that's not working. Let's give you the quick draw charm. And I, I'm considering maybe one of these. But actually, why not just damage versus Eldritch? Right? Because you're our deep, sir. So we've got damage versus human here as well. Plus the archer's ring. We've got a bet one of those, I think. Specifically for you, yeah. Sniper's ring for position four. I like this setup. It doesn't really specifically aim at the wield, but it does specifically aim at this party layout. And don't forget, just check. Erasmus has got the... Lunge, which moves them forwards two to the front, and then uh, Shadow Fade will move them back one and get everyone in the correct position. Of course, we have to do a Shadow Fade again if we wanted to lunge again, but then we have Pick to the Face, which is the best thing in the world, and we can also throw a dagger. I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with the situation we're in, but um, let's see how we fare. Hmm. I'm thinking take a stack of food and a stack of torches and hope to collect some. And in order to do that, we'll take some of those. We got such a huge amount of poison just now, which is still kind of raw in my brain. Nine damage around on the first fight. I mean, I hadn't correctly provisioned for that, that entire run. That was a, a bad run. I, I did that wrong. But at the same time, nine damage per round we have to be able to hit them faster faster and harder than that basically um so i'm basically hoping to find some more food on the way uh but i doubt we'll find any more torches on the way so let's do this stack and a half how does that sound ah what's the worst that could happen i'm going in a little bit more gung-ho than i normally would um mostly because i want to sort of try and progress this a little bit faster I'm kind of not trying to worry too much if people die all the time. The soil, all good life from I mean, groves. it's not ideal if people die. Absolutely. Do we want to do this? We have two shovels. I'm going to say no. Um, because of this. <laughs> okay. Thank you for vindicating me from the option to not dig that thing. Possibly we could come back if we really wanted to dig that up. I strongly suspect that is not going to be a, the greatest of ideas. We are actually doing 100% of rune battles and we didn't get a scout, so we're going to have to go this way even if we don't necessarily want to. Holmesy, why don't you open this? I'll tank that. <laughs> I was just going to say, maybe we shouldn't touch this. Mr. Steve has other ideas. Energy, you say. Wield Scrounger. Well, that seems legit. That's just... Healer's Gift? I don't think Healer's Gift is that great. Maybe it's... Maybe I'm thinking of something else? I don't really remember. That was a trap. Healer's Gift might be the one where your heals are better, and it might have been the one where you get better heals received. And I think it might have been that, so actually it probably was pretty good. Here's the Scout, which we immediately get, because... Um, Mr. Steve has now got Wield Scrounger skill, and I'm glad that we did get it, because we would have run into that Curio, not Curio, this obstacle here, and used our remaining single shovel, which is not something I want to be doing, because I only brought two, because we didn't have much money. Go ahead and open it. There's another fucking obstacle here. This is outrageous. And it's the third one. See, I was thinking maybe we take three, but how often do we actually use all three? Uh, this, this fucking often. Every single time you don't take three, is how often you get three. This seems bad. Uh, hmm. First of all, we lunge at this, because I'm scared of it. Twelve damage is fine. That's actually a decent chunk of damage. Dutch, please dodge. Okay, you resisted the bleed. I'm okay with that. At least Holmesy is now in the right position as well, which is good. Um, stress? Yeah, stress. I'm not too pleased about Mr. Steve's current stress level, but we can reduce it when we camp. We may want to do that sooner rather than later. 
Um, 14 dodge. Probably worth this. Because we do want to get rid of that thing. It's a stress dealer. These two are disease dealers, but don't forget, we have a disease removal cream. Unguent. An ointment. It's not even an ointment. Or an unguent. It's just powder. Uh, your only option here is to hit that really hard, so do so. And then Erasmus doesn't get to go again, because this obviously slows you down after the first round, but it's the first round that's important to us in this situation. Okay, bleed. Bleed. I have trouble carrying. This is a stun. We can't apply it to that. These two are currently interchangeable, so I'm quite happy to just pick to the face. This thing, get rid of it, move it along. You can still hit this, which is a, a blessing, because I haven't actually considered that. Not great. Erasmus, your job is to dodge. Can I remind you of this? Uh, you might as well do... Spread some damage. Nine on that one is actually really good. So I'm glad I did do that. Heal you. Try and keep this bleed. <laughs> Pardon? I'm tempted to use the bandage, but also I'm tempted to not. Make sense? What's your stun resist? 70%. Can we kill this? We could. We'll definitely kill this. Oh, we were going to crit. After all that, we could have completely wasted that thing, but okay. That's a bit of stress we didn't have to tank. Oh, also it does disease. Well, this is a problem. <laughs> Can you please just continue to disease Erasmus? Because Erasmus will get the benefit of the snuff box in any situation. Ah, you can always hit this. That's actually really helpful. That went much better. But note that even with the amount of um, healing that I was doing, we didn't take that much damage. As not as much damage as we did on the first uh, the first battle of the previous run, right? So we did get unlucky, but I also was very, very badly prepared. Um, 7 to 16, 10 to 21. We probably want to try and get this as close to death as possible. If we crit, it's dead. That was really, really not great, but it's some damage. We could kill it. We like. We've got some chance of killing it. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Why did I hire you? Uh, I'm wondering if we just mark ourselves to make sure that these things try and hit it. Do they try and hit you? I don't think that they do. Well, our only option is to hit this or to miss this, but you understand. I think we just uh, throw out a party heal, try and make as much use of our bonus of healing as we can. Before they get a go. They weren't even surprised. Oh, they were surprised. Okay, my mistake. Which, uh... I think when they're surprised, you definitely want to try and get everyone as high as possible on HP. Because they're all going to get a go to hit you at once. You're not going to be able to respond to any of the attacks, which... Kind of makes surprise not the greatest thing in the world. Man, throw a riposte right now. Can you stop? Seriously. There will be no blood left. Please, stop talking. 14 is a decent amount. Death door already. This is BS. Yeah, I know you bleed. Chill out. Uh, probably going to do that. Holmesy will get a go. That was very lucky. Which will let you do this, which is only 10. Now, this bleed is very, very bad. <laughs> wow, okay. The bleed itself is not that bad, but... Just take this guarantee kill. The fact that that bleed managed to put us on death's door because it did so much damage to Erasmus during that. Bit upsetting. Bit unfortunate, shall we say. I honestly think this one might be doing worse damage to us than this one. So I'm just going to keep... I'm just going to do this. It buffs us. More accuracy. That's good, because this has got some dodge that I'm not happy with. So much bleed and stuff. What's happening? I think it may be a divine grace. Everyone's a little bit low. It doesn't give us enough HP to feel comfortable with everyone's HP. But equivalently, it. I, I'm worried about everyone's HP, so we might as well, you know, do that. This will clear a stun. 
Thank you. <laughs> uh, Dutch's skills are basically that. Shoot things that are at the back. Or just shoot things. Anything but the front thing, basically. I'm wondering if any of these is actually that useful. I suppose a mark is useful against something like a boss. Or whenever you've got a marking party, which we don't have in this situation. Uh, I mean... We should check this. Like, we have these other things that we could be using. Well, we haven't unlocked them, so we, we couldn't be using them. But we could consider unlocking these. And whenever we don't have a party that has a mutual benefit on marking, we take the mark off. And, like, give something like this, which has a debuff? Yeah. Well, this is actually really good. I quite like blind fire because when it doesn't matter who you hit, you just set up a blind fire and it hits one of them for... Like, there's a bonus to damage at the expense of being able to target it. Um, go on then. It's a trap! Fool me once. What's it like? Two. We don't really need the scouting. It didn't help us. We didn't pick up <laughs> a shovel. Oh, here we go. Please let this battle have a shovel at the end of it. Right, so Erasmus, kill something. Stop talking. And um, please try not to die. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Oh, you fool. Actually, this is actually probably fine because now we get to do this. Try and stun that thing. It worked. Buff ourselves with dodge. So now, blanket fire is way more likely to miss, which it did. Gives us much more chance of Holmesy being able to have a go to heal Erasmus against that bleed. So yeah, Erasmus has taken no damage, which is not brilliant. Of course, Holmes is going to have to do the the blanket heal, but I'm honestly okay with that. We're going here. Four to eight on each of those. Seven to thirteen. This is almost completely more, but it's still not enough. But you've got a stun resist, so you're going to need to die quickly. We'll do a divine comfort to get everyone up. I wouldn't mind a crit or two from this, if you don't mind. It's okay, though. Maybe I should have hit that one. This is all 7 to 15. Oh, except that one. Alright. Well, you work on the back and we'll work on the front and somewhere we will meet, right? Ouch. Debuffs on everybody. Not great, not great. And a crit. For goodness sake. <laughs> They've all had a go. They're all faster than us. This is BS. And if Erasmus gets to go, there's a chance it dies immediately. Alright, good. That was... What, <laughs> what is happening on this round? Stop it! Leave me alone, it's not fair, mum! Look, we've only got one bandage. Kill anything. That was such a bad roll. I'm so glad that I did that. Mr. Steve is stressed out. He's courageous. Thank you for being courageous. Mr. Steve, you can come again. I wonder what that gives you apart from just not a crazy. Can, should we heal ourselves? We can't heal ourselves. We don't have that. We, we can't. Okay. Hit that. Hope for the best. Oh, you can heal him. Do it. Just to keep him away from death's door because this could kill us. Right here. Shadow Fade stopped that one from having a go, maybe. It did work. This is going to be bad. As long as Holmesy gets the go first. How many times are you going to be on Death's Door, mate? Seriously. Dodge this. Oh, I hit it. <gasps> the only person who dodged it. <laughs> Please don't bleed to death. Good. This is not helping us. We need to be able to focus these heals, but with these bleeds and this constant blanket fire, there's literally nothing we can do about it. I think it's time to camp. That was a great shot, though. Maybe the Courageous is giving us a higher chance to hit. I don't know. Maybe I should have used that bandage. Maybe now is the time to bandage Mr. Steve. Three more rounds. That was probably a good idea. Oh, this one. That was a really silly, silly, silly thing to do. Mr. Steve's now back on death's door. There they are, I got another go. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ah, this is the worst day. I've only just come back to this game and you're all being dicks. Hey, we should all get a buff when someone dies, like a rage buff or something. 
We'll kill these lot. And then we'll leave. <laughs> Look at that. We were one turn away. One Relin turn. Precipitates a dizzying fall. <laughs> oh God, Mr. Steve's dead. Learn a thing. I'm so think, sad. You know. Well, the goal of that was to level people up, and in fact, what happened was everyone died. I feel bad about this episode. Seditionists and heretics Ooh. skulk in the alleys. They must be found out. This is the uh, events that were released in the previous patch. Idle Hound Masters gain one resolve level. Miri just levels straight up. <laughs> and so did Snowland. What? Can I get a half five? And so. Yeah, did... what? But no, you didn't. What? You were level two before. Were you idle? I'm, I'm kind of confused right now. Mr. Steve is dead. Good job, Mr. Steve. You need respite. You do. We have 5,000, which is actually more than we left with, so I still feel slightly vindicated about that, but everyone's now flipped the shit out. Uh, why is... Why is Imdism here not level 3? Maybe it's 1 XP? Can't be 1 XP. Because I'm sure that Snowlan was not level 4. Miri was not... I don't remember. Oh, check the footage. Uh, not quite sure what that means. Or do we have to actually accept it? Do we have to do something? Ah, uh, no, I understand. Anyone we don't take this week will be one level higher at the end. So at the end of the next episode, everyone will be one level higher. Which may be a bad thing, because <laughs> Miri will be level 6, the only level 6. Snowlan will be back up to level 4, taking Miri's place. The only real benefit was that the Imdzum here will be in amongst the level 3s again, so we can actually take him out and you know, use him. But we have to put them all in for stress relief. <sighs> this has not turned out well at all. Let's see who we can replace Mr. Steve with. We do have a new Plague Doctor, which is actually very tempting. Or a new Hellion, but they'll be level 0. We can't level up anybody, that's going to be the issue. Anyone we take at this stage is going to be stuck at level 1. For a long, long time. I don't think we can do anything except for take them out on missions in order to upgrade them, in order to level them up. So what maybe we should be thinking about doing is actually spending money here. Uh, spending heirlooms here and getting the experienced recruits thing. Well, there's going to be a slot in the roster for some time until we can figure out how to bring somebody in usefully. But... Well, I guess in the next episode, we'll figure out what the hell to do in any situation. But until then, thank you for watching. I apologize very much, especially to Mr. Steve, for the shocking and abysmal display that this episode has seen. But are you not entertained? So, until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.